Assalamu alaikum, hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can see guys, this is a cake and it's banana cake. I've seen a lot of banana cake, banana bread on YouTube and I decided to try it and I'm going with a cake. So guys, for my ingredients, I'm going to need one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. I'm going to need three quarter cups of sugar, three ripe bananas. I have vanilla, I have bicarbonate of soda baking soda i have one egg but the egg is totally optional and those are my chocolate chip i almost said chocolate chip cookies i meant chocolate chips and those are raisins you can use any topping you like and i have a third a cup of uh, melted butter you can use salted or unsalted it's okay i'm going to write all this in my description box so that you can check so guys, our first step is to just cut your banana into pieces and put them in a bowl. Then I'm going to use a fork to just mash them. You can use a mixer if you like, but for the first part, I just want to mash them with my fork. Then guys, the next step, I'm going to add in my butter. So you guys, you can use blue band as well. It doesn't really matter. It's okay. And that is a third a cup of melted butter or blue band. Then just continue mixing it. It will make your bananas softer. Then the next part, I'm going to add in my vanilla. I'm using one teaspoon of vanilla. Then guys, I'm going to use my egg, one egg, but it's not a must. It won't make any difference. If you don't like eggs, if you're allergic, don't use the egg. The recipe will be okay. But if you're going to use an egg, make sure you beat it before you add it into your mixture. Then after that, you're just going to mix it properly like that. So guys, I forgot to mention you're going to need milk, but not too much, just like half a cup of milk. Now over here, I'm adding my baking soda, one teaspoon of baking soda. Then guys, the next step, I'm going to put it inside my blender, that mixture. Then I'm going to add in my flour. I'm using one and a half cups of flour. So I'm going to add in my flour. Then I'm going to blend this mixture. Guys, at this point, make sure your oven is preheating at 180 degrees. Now, after blending, guys, you're going to add in your sugar. Remember, I'm using three quarter cups of sugar, but if you like, you can use more. It's okay. And I'm going to add in my milk. Now, I'm going to use half a cup of milk. And I'm going to blend it again. Then guys, this is my tray, the one I'm going to be using and I'm going to add in normal vegetable oil. You can use blue band to do this or butter and you're going to spread it all over the tray that you're using. Then uh, this is how my mixture is looking guys. It should be a bit thicker than the normal butter, the, the one for cakes, it should be a bit thicker. Then over here, I'm adding my raisins. You can add anything, guys. You can add nuts. You can add any dry fruit that you like. It's okay. So I mixed my raisins inside. Then I'm going to put it inside my tray. Then guys, this is the part where I'm going to add in my chocolate chips. I love chocolate chips, but I'm not a fan of raisins. I just added raisins because my sisters love. And uh, this is what I like personally. So I put a lot of chocolate chips. And you can add anything, remember? Then after this, it's going to take 40 to 45 minutes to cook inside the oven. 
so guys over here my cake is ready you can use a knife to check if it's ready if it comes out clean you know it's ready i don't know why it's looking like that on the top part but maybe bakers can correct me but it doesn't matter since it's cooked so now i'm just going to cut it into pieces then show you how it looks on the inside so guys my banana cake is done it's really soft and it's really moist it's really spongy as well it looks really good and the chocolate chips make everything better since they just like melt in your mouth because they were inside the oven so guys if you're watching and you haven't subscribed please make sure you do also don't forget to share my channel my videos with your friends and your family and just everybody and tell them to subscribe let's get me to 2000 subscribers and uh, yeah please make sure you try this recipe and tag me on my instagram this is how it turned out i just drizzled some icing sugar on top but it's not a must and uh, it was really really good make sure you try it thank you so much for watching bye